How crucial do you think safety and infection control are in a mother-infant rooming situation? Well, they are paramount. The early days following birth mark a vital period for both mother and infant. The mother is in a state of recovery, and the infant, new to the world, has yet to develop a robust immune system. This makes them both susceptible to infections. In a mother-infant rooming situation, the risk is twofold. An infection that affects the mother can potentially put her health at risk and limit her ability to care for her newborn. Similarly, an infection in the newborn can escalate quickly, leading to serious health complications. Moreover, infections can be transmitted between the mother and the infant, making infection control all the more important. Effective safety precautions and strict infection control can significantly reduce these risks, ensuring the well-being of both mother and infant. Understanding the importance of these precautions can ensure the health and safety of both mother and infant. Now, you understand the importance, but how can we ensure safety and infection control in a mother-infant rooming situation? Let's take a step-by-step -step approach to this crucial process. First off, proper hand hygiene can't be overlooked. It's a simple yet powerful weapon against infection. Start by wetting your hands with water, then apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub hands palm to palm, right palm over the left dorsum with interlaced fingers and vice versa. Don't forget to clean your thumbs, fingertips, and the areas between your fingers. Rinse and dry your hands thoroughly for a complete clean. Next, we have the use of personal protective equipment, or PPE. This includes gloves, gowns, masks, and eye protection. PPE acts as a barrier to stop the transmission of infectious pathogens. The trick here is to put it on correctly and to remove it without contaminating yourself or others. Always remember, clean hands before PPE, clean hands after PPE. Cleaning and sterilization of surfaces and objects is another crucial step. Regularly clean high-touch surfaces with a disinfectant. Sterilize objects that come in contact with the mother and infant, like feeding bottles and toys. Now on to safe breastfeeding practices. The mother should clean her hands and breasts before each feeding. If expressing milk, ensure the pump parts are cleaned and sterilized after each use. Lastly, let's talk about waste disposal. Dispose of waste like diapers and tissues in a covered bin, and wash your hands after. Regularly empty and clean the bin to avoid the buildup of harmful germs. And there we have it. A detailed guide to ensuring safety and infection control in mother-infant rooming. The steps might seem many, but each plays a crucial role in safeguarding the health of the mother and newborn. By following these steps, healthcare professionals and family members can create a safe and healthy environment for both the mother and the newborn. Let's quickly recap the precautions discussed today. Our journey began with understanding the significance of safety and infection control in mother-infant rooming, a critical component in promoting health and well-being for both mother and newborn. Firstly, we highlighted the necessity of regular hand hygiene, a simple but powerful tool to prevent the spread of infections. Then, we touched on the importance of maintaining clean and sanitized surfaces, particularly in high-touch areas. We also underscored the value of proper waste management and the use of personal protective equipment when necessary. The role of regular health checks for the mother and the newborn was also discussed, ensuring early detection of potential health issues. Lastly, we emphasized the need for proper education and training for healthcare professionals to ensure that safety and infection control protocols are effectively implemented and maintained. Remember, each step we take towards safety and infection control can make a significant difference in the health and well-being of both the mother and the newborn.